Hey guys, Spears here, and welcome back to the episode of GTA Online today, where we're going to be checking out uh, three secret cars in GTA. What is- What are you doing, monkey? What is that? Get away from me, man! I mean, it's cool. It's really cool. Yeah, I'd be running too, everybody. Oh, there he is. Look at him. What's he doing? Alright, that's fine. There's nothing- uh, so this first one we're checking out, I don't even know if this is real, honestly, but to get this truck, it's like a really cool military jeep, to get that all you gotta do is call Meriwether, call mercenaries on your friend, and then you just get the jeep. But I didn't know you could keep it, like you can literally take that and put it in your garage. Or you can sell it. But yeah, congrats to this guy, he just won a mystery prize. Uh, if you want to win yours, just post a comment down there. I'm going to be picking a few comments, actually, in today's video. Because if you see, there's already a pinned comment down there. And that's because of today's sponsor. That allows me to give back to you guys. I want to talk about a new mobile game that's great for picking up and enjoying some zero-stress multiplayer combat. Of course, I'm talking about today's sponsor, Mech Arena. Hop into your mech and take on other players in 5v5 real-time PvP matches. There's a variety of maps and game modes to enjoy, and you can choose between playing with random players or your friends. You can also make your own custom matches. Each mech comes with a pilot. Every pilot is a fun, unique character with interesting abilities and backstories. For example, take Faye. She looks like a little kid who should be anywhere in the world besides in a giant robot suit, but it turns out she's a child prodigy who can make robots with AI and favors heavy artillery. Watch her rain down rockets and mortars on her enemies. You can also customize your pilot's skills to fit your personality, playstyle, and your mechs. This month, Mechorina is doing Season 7 of their Battle Pass. You can get your hands on some amazing new skins and some other fun stuff. There's even new weapons, like the Voltic RPGs. They shock enemies and mess up their aim. You'll even get a new pilot, called Stefania. Mechorina is free to play on Android and iOS. Use my personal link in the description or the QR code right here on screen to get a free starter pack worth $45, a mil-spec skin, 500A coins, and 70,000 credits to help kickstart your game. You can even add me as a friend, and we can play some matches together. Remember to click the link in the description, and thank you again, Mechorina, for sponsoring today's video. Alright, let's get into this. Monkey's invisible right there. I don't know what he's doing. I'm gonna pull up my phone here. I'm gonna give Meriwether a call. This is like the second time I've ever done this. Oh, here they got- right- ow, ow, right here. This is the Jeep. <laughs> Very easy to deal with them, though. Like, super easy. I'm more in danger from this random car just running me over than them. But here it is. You also get some free guns too? That was way too easy, guys. You gotta- you gotta brush up a little bit. Oh! There's more! I was kidding! Now all you do is casually drive to the Los Santos Customs with your friend here in the passenger seat in the back seat, and, uh, you can go in, and you could sell it. Going through everything that you just went through, you could sell this thing for 45000 I think. No idea you could ever do that. That's really, really cool. Uh, oh, Monkey got one too! Look at him! He's got his friends in the back and the- in the front with him. That's cool, we both have friends. Alright, alright, relax. We're- we're friends. Down, down, good. This next one is, do you want to get this unique car? It's like, yeah, I do. I didn't- it, what? So this is the location. It's, uh, in the northern part of the map. It's at the gas station out here in the middle of nowhere. You just drive up to it with, like, a muscle car around sometime in the morning and it just spawns in like the corner and you can take it and put it in your garage you can sell it do whatever you want with it it might be a little too late in the day they say early in the morning i don't know how the how have i never known any of this i didn't know the time of day mattered for things to spawn like so you keep just look this way drive slowly just creep up to it in a muscle car or muscle truck whatever just a must a car that lifts weights and then you look over uh, and it should be spawning right there if it doesn't all you have to do is drive around in circles and eventually it will spawn there but it's gotta be in, like, the early day, like, afternoon type thing. Like I said, I didn't know times mattered for things to spawn. I don't think anybody really knew that. <laughs> what do you mean you knew that? No, you didn't. That's a big chicken. Why has he got a cone on his head? What? Alright, let's see if it spawned this time. Maybe the game's like, hey man, listen, you're not in the right muscle car for this, alright? <gasps> no way, dude! That- oh, <laughs> that is so cool! What? For free? Like I said, you literally just get in it and take it to a pain spray and you're good to go. Like, put a tracker on it, put it in your garage. You can literally make a cool garage for absolutely free. That's ridiculous. I mean, it's it's not, but it's cool. What'd you do to her now? Get her for free? That's so sick. Look, what? Why does that make me so happy? I don't even care. Tracker? It's mine now. I don't, I don't know. I just really like anything to do with muscle cars and this thing makes me happy. So the fact that you guys can get this for free, yep. I like that, and I didn't even know this existed. Look at that thing, I spiffed it up a little bit, looks great. Yeah, so just drive around here with a muscle car and eventually you'll get it to spawn. That's pretty crazy, a seasoned guy like Monkey here said he had no idea this was a thing either. Alright, so moving on to our next one here. This one is a Deluxo spawn location. 
So the only reason that I'm really gonna look at this one is because I've never been out to where they're telling us to go to. It's like some facility out here, like this area, maybe? And you climb up to the roof. Like, I don't even know if you can get in this thing, but it's there. Yeah, here it is, here it is, right here. I- yeah, alright, we're gonna head out there and, uh, let's see if it's even on the roof, let alone if we can steal it. That'd be cool. Alright, this is the spot right here. Looking... Looking pretty fancy. I don't know if we're- are we allowed to be here, sir? Little security guard coming over. He's not coming over anymore. Alright, monkey, come on, we gotta be secretive about this, even though you literally just knocked out the only security guard here. Uh, what a bad spot to put these, huh? Let's give people a perfect spot to climb up to this ladder. Up, 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 how high- yeah. Oh, um... Was it that one? Yeah, right there. No. Yes. I don't... That is- that is cool. That is cool, alright? But, I don't know if that's a Deluxo to me. That's not. But there's other... That's also a helicopter. Uh... Oh wait, the helicopter transformed into a rat truck! How did that happen? That's not a Deluxo! Oh, right, T then. I need to leave. Very loud explosion. All right, this next one here says between 21 and 3 a.m. So midnight and 3 a.m., I guess. Uh, there's like a, a really cool Sentinel XS that spawns. It's like super modified, but it only spawns on this street. And that doesn't make any sense. And somebody's driving it too. Like what? Bro, it literally looks like something straight out of Fast and Furious. Like they literally just copy and pasted it. But, like, it, it's only in that spot, and it's super rare. I don't get it. Where's the spot at? It's, like, right... It's... I'm blind. Just kidding, I found it. It's here. So, if it doesn't spawn the first time we drive around, we literally have to just drive around in circles. And you can be in any vehicle, it doesn't matter. That's weird. And we're not just driving any vehicle, we're driving our new rat rod. This thing is... It, may, it feels better that we got it for free, you know what I mean? So, we turn this corner, and it should be, like, just in traffic right here. Uh, it's not right now, obviously, so we just have to keep driving around in circles, and eventually, it will be there. It makes me wonder how many, like, timed events like that are in this game. Like, that's so... How would anybody find out that between this time and that time, like, a three-hour difference in-game, you have the ability to get this super cool Fast and Furious car? It's crazy. Now, I don't know if my rat rod is, like, too country for, for this car to spawn. It's like, I don't want to be near that thing. Ew. It's not here yet. It should be in this line of traffic right there. Right, so turn this corner. Is that it right there? What is that? Oh, that is it! Bro, that's the Ronald McDonald one too! Super rare! McDonald's version? Bro, let's go! You're not driving away with this thing! What are you talking about? Get out! That looks so cool! It's all tinted too? You never see cars in-game just driving on the road that are tinted. Let's go! I got the Big Mac version! I'm just kidding that this is rare, but the car itself... That's rare and secret, I think. Well, I didn't even know about it, and for somebody to know about that, you'd have to know the exact time, because it's literally only between 21 and 3 a.m. And we got it at 22. Just, just in the- just in the right time. And what's funny is in next gen, this thing is actually stupid quick. Yeah, the Sentinel XS. It's like the fastest vehicle, one of the fastest vehicles you can get with house upgrades on it. Which is insane, because you can get this thing for free. And I just find it kind of cool that Rockstar, like, put this in there. They modified these cars themselves, like this one. And they're like, you know what, that looks good. It does look pretty good. I mean, the, the, the wheels are a little weird, but I'm gonna go put a tracker on this thing and save it. Maybe change the wheels. You can also sell it if you don't want it. I don't know, I think it sells for like $4,000 or something. <laughs> or maybe it's $45,000, I have no idea. Dude, that looks way better in the daylight, actually. I was just kidding. Well, it's got an intercooler on it and everything. Yeah, I'll, I'll take this thing, I'll take it. Tracker. Full coverage. There we go. I've got insurance. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna go see if I can get one more to spawn really quickly. Just see if it's like... Just luck, you know? My luck has run out. <laughs> it's, to, it's not spawning again. It could be the fact that there's a monkey with a minigun on his on his car driving next to me. I don't know. That that scares some people. We're actually not far away from this next one here that says Hidden Vehicle Locations in GTA Part 8. Alright, come to this location on the map, and then go into the garage, and there's a Lynx. Alright. I'm in a great mood right now because a few of these are actually working, so. So it's right up here. I don't, I don't know if I'm stupid for wanting to believe that this is true, but like I said, a few of these have been true. I'm in a good mood right now. I don't know. You zip around the corner. Uh, which house is it? All these houses look the, well, the same, basically. Uh, I think this is it. This one might be it. It was nighttime. I couldn't tell. Let's see. Uh, oh, what? Monkey? What was that? Monkey? What are you doing, man? Did you just set me up? 
Was that, was that a setup? I'm... I... Was it ever real? It, it's turned into, like, charcoal. Look at that. There's, like, a fireplace in here. Well, I am definitely going to be calling 911 right now, because that is... That is ridiculous. I don't... I don't even know how to use my phone. Whoa! Uh, are you serious, man? I am trying to make him better. These... Monkey City has something to show me. I don't know why I keep falling for this, or why I'm even entertaining him. Look what he's got in his hand. What is it, man? Are you gonna break dance for us? Are you gonna- That sword went through me, by the way. Like, legit. Like, I was a piece of steak. It just went- Alright, so this next one here says, Rarest vehicle in all of GTA 5 online. Uh, so it says, come to this location, which I'm pretty sure that's like a lighthouse. It's like a farm. You'll find a, a barn house. At the barn house, there should be a rusty tractor. Right outside. That kind of makes sense, because it's a farm and a lighthouse, but... I don't know, I'm pretty sure that rusty tractor is extremely rare. That is definitely a lighthouse right there, if I've ever seen one, so... <laughs> tractor must be around here somewhere. Uh... Yeah. Alright. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, no, no. You get away. What are you doing? You trying to ch It's not wood! Oh... Uh... You know, he made one fatal mistake. There's literally a staircase right up to where he is. Are you just gonna drive away in a Porsche and not even- Is this real? Like, it's in like the exact same spot as it was- I don't- I have no idea. It, this is cool, though. You have to be like level a thousand in the arena to get this, uh, tractor. And it's just sitting at a barn? There's a lot of questions I have. Not even a barn, it's a lighthouse building place. Oh, you know what? This might be Monkey's home. That would- is this your home, little guy? Oh, that's your mom, right there. Okay. Nice. Nice, man. Good for you. Alright, I'm gonna drive this away from that barn with Monkey, and we're gonna see if it spawns. Alright, so there he is. There's the tractor. I'm gonna run back. You- Oh my- You stay there. I can still see his little hat floating. Don't move- Hey! 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 Alright, and I'm gonna spin around. He's still running. No way! What?! It actually spawns there?! Alrighty then. Can I save this? Like- Bro, I need to go put a tracker on this or something, or put it in my garage. This is such a rare vehicle. I'm- what? After literally a five-hour drive, we are almost to the pay and spray. Los Santos Customs. What is he doing? He's like a little mosquito. You know, that's what that's like. A little bug. But like a cute one. Alright, Los Santos Customs time. All this work, just for it to save. L this vehicle cannot be modified. Alright, so you can't save it. But it's there, and it's very, very rare. Extremely rare, and secret, clearly. This next one here says, how to get a free modded car in GTA 5. Um, so come to this location, literally at the, the Los Santos Customs that we were just at, and there should be a modded truck sitting, like, across from the Los Santos Customs. It's like a huge Sand King XL, looks super cool. I mean, hey, if you can get it for free and it's fully modded, why not? So it doesn't say that it- I don't think the time of day matters, and I don't think what you're driving matters. It should just be right in the parking lot. Literally right there. What? Look at that thing. That's huge, dude. What? <laughs> I don't know how I've never noticed this before, but alright. What is he doing? Are you under there doing push-ups? <laughs> I'm- I'm stealing this. It's unlocked, too? Bro, look at the size of those wheels. I'm gonna be taking this. This is mine now. Free- Free Car City, everybody. It didn't give me the tractor, but it will give me this. Yup. <laughs> That's so cool. Uh... Loss Prevention Tracker. There we go. It's mine now. That actually- that's a really nice paint job, too. It's like, kind of pink, blue, purple. Listen, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, hit that like button, let me know, and subscribe if you haven't already.